In the heart of cattle country in central Queensland, a quiet revolution is taking place. It certainly looks as though it is a market that is continuing to uh, expand. Neil Johansson grows chickpeas on his Dixalee property near Billawila. He's hoping the growing taste for meat-free products will lift the price of his crop. With the pulse market in general, it is probably expanded over the years considerably. So whether it continues with that, is, you know, it's all price driven at the end of the day. It's consumers want, uh, they want options that are more sustainable. They want more options um, that aren't meat based for animal welfare issues. Heather Smythe is a sensory scientist, using her expertise to develop plant-based products that taste like real meat. We need to know the fundamental science to know what is it that makes a meat burger hold together and feel uh, juicy and elastic in the mouth, and can we mimic that in plant proteins? She's teamed up with scientist Jason Stokes to crack the code. I think it's actually quite exciting because it's actually giving a, uh, a, a, a new um, sort of a startup culture, if you like, um, in this space, and that should lead to new crops and new, new uh, agricultural targets. What I think as a, as a farmer should be excited to think about there's new opportunities. Reaping the rewards of an emerging food trend. Kieran McKechnie, ABC News.